ML Sports Take brought to you by Welch and Company Jewelers and Jam and Beats. This game against Duke, Syracuse got crushed in the second half. Syracuse didn't shoot it well. Duke did. Duke made eight three-pointers. They took care of the basketball better. And points in the paint, it was crazy. The rebounding, actually SU won that battle by one. But the points in the paint and the defense of Syracuse down low was a major problem. And going forward, Syracuse is going to continue to face these big guys, right? Clemson and North Carolina, Baycott and all the rest. Like, they're going to face these guys. And I got to tell you, McLeod in the middle, he played only seven minutes. I know that. He is brutal in there. And then when you get Brown in there, he's still got a long way to go defensively. He was great offensively. He had 26 points in this game right off the bench. But the defense of Syracuse, and eh. Syracuse also didn't get anything really from Taylor. They got nothing from Bell. Uh, but again, you look at Brown and Williams, uh, let, let's see, 26 for 30, quick math, 36 points off the bench. They didn't get much out of Copeland in a game like this where when you're on the road, Cameron, some of that energy, some of that scoring from him, he struggled to get going in this game as well. The bottom line, Syracuse shot it poorly. They didn't play great defense in the paint. Duke made eight three-pointers, Patton at Duke, and SU didn't take care of the basketball, especially in the first half, and that really hurt him. I thought they could have been up in the first half by six to ten points. ML Sports Take brought to you by Rosie's Corner, Stanley Law Offices, and Brian Conboy of Mass Mutual, New York State.